Hey everybody, it's the Gadget Man with Discovering in Color. And today we're gonna to talk about my solar setups I use when I go camping. And that's either car camping or backpacking. Okay, today what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over some of the setups that I use for when I go car camping or just backpacking in general. So I've really got three systems that I use. The first one is a really big 100 watt system, uses multiple solar panels, and that can be set up, um, especially if you're gonna be someplace base camping for a longer period of time and you have no outside sources of electricity and you need to run various things or charge various things. The second one is gonna be a portable solar panel system that you can use. Uh, you could do it if you're using a day hike or a very short backpacking trip, but uh, there is some weight involved with that and that's uh, something that you may or may not wanna do. The third method is gonna be a standalone unit that has a solar panel on the back of it, a portable battery that you can use to charge from. So let's go over to the other side and take a look and see what I've got. Okay, this right here is my big setup that I have. This is my 100 watt solar system. It's got four panels right here. Each of the panels provides roughly 25 watts of power. So if you don't wanna take them all, you don't have to take them all. Um, in this case, I actually have all four of them hooked up. So this should be generating about somewhere around 100 watts of power. A lot of it depends on the sun. As you can see, today is a really bright, sunny day. And hey, I live in the Midwest in Oklahoma, which is technically Southwest USA. So there's always plenty of sun here. If you're gonna go someplace that doesn't have a lot of sun or it's gonna be cloudy, well, then you might wanna evaluate whether you wanna take a solar uh, panels with you or how many you need. Now, this particular setup right here, I could pretty much run or charge anything that I'm gonna take out there with me, be it a small fan, um, being any kind of a small appliance I need to use, those type of things. It won't run anything big. So if I'm base camping and I wanna run a coffee maker or I wanna run a microwave or something like that, this setup will not do it. It just does not provide enough power to do that. But it does provide enough power to run small appliances and enough power to charge things. What I've got right now, I've actually got hooked up to a 12 volt battery. So those of you who are RVing and are looking for something that uh, may work for you, uh, I'm gonna show you the setup I have right over here that works with uh, it's got a 12 volt controller, which you usually you want to use that with the panels like this. It's a 12 volt controller. And what it's doing is it gives an output to charge a battery and you can also run other devices with it. So let's take a look here and see what the setup is. This right here is the 12 volt controller. You really want to use one of these whenever you're doing solar panel hookup. It's got an input right here for the solar panel and then it's got a display of how much voltage is actually going out. And what I have it right now is I have it hooked up to my um, battery for my lawnmower right there. And it's just kind of charging it because it was getting a little bit low. So I thought I'd uh, just use some solar power to get it going. But this right here is a great thing to use. It's got some USB outputs right here that you can hook up things to. And it's got some uh, over there, it's got some little 12 volt uh, DC outputs that you can use with it. You can also hardwire a few things underneath here. So if you do have solar panels, you could hardwire them in here. In this case, I'm just using this input right here. It, it connects directly into the solar panels. Um, and uh, you could also hook up lights or stuff like that. So that's the big hookup I have for this 100 watt setup. Now over here, this is my smaller setup. It's definitely a much more portable setup that I can use. Um, this right here, this is a uh, Suwaki charger right here. As you can see, it's got the nine solar panels on it. And this can be used for charging or taking it with you. It's portable, a little heavy, but it is portable. You can take it with you and you can charge a lot of good stuff with it. You can, um, one thing I have here, this is my little, uh, uh, this little Suwaki battery pack right here. So it does have an AC output um, as well as uh, USB outputs and some DC outputs as you can use with this right here. The way it works is it's just got a cord right here and I can take it into the controller here on the side and it actually plugs right in. And what happens is it kind of starts to charge. Uh, more difficult to see now with the, uh, with the sun on there, but it actually is charging up this battery right here. Um, this is supposed to provide about 30 watts of power out. Once again, it depends on the sun. It depends on the angle that the sun is hitting this here. Um, you really want to get that optimum 45 degree angle for the sun, and that'll make this charge the most. So this is another option you can use. Uh, it's great for charging a cell phone, uh, great for running. Uh, if you have any of these little uh, portable lights right here, this is actually a USB light that you can use. Now, obviously it's a light, so you don't want to use it during the day, but this can charge your battery. And then this right here, simply plugs into your battery here on the side. And what you do is now you have a USB source of light for nighttime use. So 
Use this to charge during the day. Use this to enjoy yourself at night. And this will run lights, it'll run a fan, it'll charge your phone. This little guy right here will pretty much do whatever you need to do. And this actually isn't a video I have. I do a little bit of a review on this. And then the final one I wanna go over right here is, this is a Charge Labs uh, battery pack. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack. A little heavy, not necessarily you wanna take it backpacking, day hiking or something like that is, is, is really okay. But what this one does is I can charge this one through the panel, I can charge it through a wall outlet, whatever you gotta do. But it also has a solar panel on the back. And you see a lot of these out there. Now, one thing you gotta remember about these solar panels on the back, they don't generate very much power. Uh, if this thing is down to 25% or 0%, it would probably take a couple of days in bright sun, just like you're seeing today, to get this thing to charge back up. So utilizing this as a primary means of charging this, probably not that good. But it's something that uh, maybe you want to top it off if you use it at night or during the day, that's probably a good idea. Because uh, if you use it at night to power a USB light or something like that, or a, or a small fan, it's gonna well, cook the, bring, bring this down a little bit. So what you can do is you can set it out during the day and just basically kind of top it off, get it back to where it's supposed to be. So that way, if a day or two it's cloudy, then you should have enough power right here to uh, kind of keep yourself going for a little while. Okay, so these are my solar options I have here. I've got the really big system and I've got two smaller systems that I use for giving some power when I'm out there camping or base camping or backpacking. Um, I, like I said, I do have a couple of smaller versions of these that don't have solar panels on them. Um, but this is what I use right here. So uh, take your time, go out there, find out a system that works for you. This is just what I use for me, and it works pretty good. So that's it. Gadget Man with Discovering in Color, and thanks for watching. See you on the trail.